Hey, this is Mr. Holding, and this quick video is about using standard normal tables, but in fact, we're actually not going to use the tables, we're going to use our calculator. <clears throat> All right, but the idea is the same. So we're going to have a quick look at them, and I'll run you through a few things. So the first one, you'll see, um, use the standard normal tables on page 560, but we won't use that, we're going to use our calculator, um, to find the value of each of the following. Now, you notice it says A, P stands for probability, okay? Um, Let me get rid of that. Um, P stands for probability, and you may not be able to see that. I'll come in a bit. There we go. Probability of the of a Z score which is less than one. Okay. So, sorry, I'm trying to get it. There we go. A Z score less than one. So we're going to go through stat mode um, again. So hit enter. We're going to do distribution normal distribution and we're going to use this NCD okay so now this is a bit where it gets a bit tricky but because we're using Z scores we reset everything back to zero all right so remember a mean if you have a score that's on the mean the Z score is going to be zero okay so we want to have we want to set the mean to zero we want to go to standard deviation of one and then we can go and look at what the upper and lower lim limits are, okay? In this case, we want to score less than one. So the upper will be one, and the lower will be significantly less than one. Let's, we might leave it at 100. Actually, we might go one negative 1,000. It doesn't matter how big it is, as long as it's big enough to color everything. And then we're going to go to execute, which is number one. Okay, so the probability of having a Z score for any data that's less than one is 84% or 0.84134474. All right, and so just going back again, what we did is because we had a Z score, we reset the mean, which is this funny U to zero. Okay, uh, standard deviation we set to one, and then we work out what it is. So we want to know a Z score of one or below, and negative a thousand is well below one, um, and then we go execute okay let's have a look at look at g okay what's the probability of a z score that's between negative one and positive one okay so again we reset our mean to zero okay we just want a standard deviation of one our lower is negative one score of and a z score of negative one and our upper is positive one okay and let's go down and execute there you go the probability is 68 percent funnily enough it's between one standard deviation all right have a look at the probability of negative two to i thought that was into negative one um there is a moment we'll do this one too so j so exit again reset u to zero because the mean is for z score of zero um in terms of standard deviations we go to one our lower score is negative 2, and our upper score is negative 1. Okay. And calculate. Okay, so the percent the, the probability of negative of a z score negative 2 to negative 1 is 0.135, which is 13.5%. Okay? So that's how you use your calculator with some of these. All right, let's have a quick um, look at this one down here. So number five, if a normal distribution has a mean of 165 and a standard deviation of 14, up a bit, there we go, of 14, calculate each of the following. Okay, so we'll look at the first one. So we've been given some information. So we've got a mean of 165, so I'll put that in. And we have a standard deviation of 14. Okay. Now we want to go upper and lower limits. Probability of less than 170. So our upper is going to be 170 because we're worried about our scores less than it. And our lower, we just need to have that really low figure. So let's go negative 2,000. And then go and calculate. And there we go, 63.9% or 0.639507.56. Okay, 
So that um, calculate says calculate each of the following. P, remember, stands for probability of a score that is less than 170. Now, notice there's a difference. This is X. It's a score. That's why we use the mean of 165, whereas before we were using a mean of zero. See how that's Z? And that one's X. Okay, that's a Z score. So we reset the mean to zero. This is X, so we actually need to find the mean. In this case, it's 165. Okay, so a little bit of reading through there, but this is fairly easy. You should be fairly confident with this the use of the calculator to do this by now. Now, I'm not going to write right through it and show you how to write it out because we've done that in the previous ones, okay? So you still need to write it out. So stat mode, um, distribution, normal, NCD, input variables, all that kind of stuff. All right, I won't bother writing it through because you know what to do. Okay, hope you found this helpful.